Hi guys, GameShark here and today I'm going to be telling you 20 things that you should not do in your very first year of Stardew Valley. This is more for you beginners, but this video will be handy in general as I will be discussing the things that I got wrong when I first started playing and all the mistakes I made, so hopefully this video will give you guys a heads up and make you not mess up the same way I did. So let's get straight into it. Number 1. Do not purchase the chicken coop right away when you get the quest to do so. This is a very bad idea, not only will it cost a lot of resources and money to do so, but chickens also need food, which costs a ton of money to keep buying. So build a silo before you buy the coop. And this follows on to the next tip. Number 2. Do not scythe all of your grass on the farm. I made this mistake and regret it so bad. Saving all of the grass up until you get the silo is great because once the silo is built, you can scythe the grass and turn it into hay, which is free food for the animals, saving you lots of money. Number 3. When clearing your farm, do not chop down all of your trees. Save at least a few each of the different types of trees. You can soon place tree tappers onto them and produce artisan goods. You can place tree seeds back into the ground, but this takes so long for the tree to actually grow. It's easier and quicker to just keep them on your farm. And also, it can generate good amounts of wood when you need it. Number 4. Do not do what I did and sell or trash the seeds you get from the trees. Not only can you use these to regrow the trees, but also these can be used to craft a recipe called field snacks, which are perfect for a good energy source. Seeds aren't as pointless as you think. Number 5. Do not be a badass and pull an all-nighter past 1am like I know you do in real life. Your character will pass out on the spot once 2am hits, but sleeping after 12 will also have a slight decrease in your energy the next day, so keep your eye on the time. Number 6. Do not speedrun through your first spring. You need to focus on the community centre right away, which will require some spring crops and spring forage items. If you miss these, you will have to wait a full year to try again. Number 7. Do not purchase the cheapest seeds such as parsnips. These will not bring in any profit whatsoever and will not give the money you need. Try and focus on buying the NPC seeds, the most profitable crops, such as the cauliflowers. These will create huge amounts of profit and will stack your bank balance really high. Number 8. Do not buy speed grow or fertilizers for all of your crops. These are a hefty price and will lose you profit on most crops. It's much easier and cheaper to craft these yourself and only use the fertilizers on multiple harvest crops such as green beans. This will generate you the most profit. Number 9. Do not craft sprinklers yet. It costs a lot of resources to make sprinklers such as iron and gold, items that you won't have much of in your first year. So just save your resources and just water your plants yourself. Number 10. Do not upgrade your watering can on a sunny or productive day. Wait until the weather is forecasted to rain the following day or use winter to do this. Number 11. Do not be money greedy like most YouTubers. Do not sell every single item you get or make thinking you're going to live the high life. There will actually be a time where you will need a lot of items that you will find. So store some away in case you come across the heartache of needing an item you have just sold. Number 12. Do not walk around town with a tool selected. If you accidentally click the mouse, your player will use the tool and drain energy. There has been times I've been on the last hit before passing out and I accidentally clicked the wrong button and then I passed out. Have your sword or scythe selected. Using these tools do not drain any energy. I wish I knew that back then. Number 13. Do not go mining on a bad luck day. If you do this, you will literally find no valuable items to sell or ores you'll need. It is very slow mining with bad luck and you will leave with hardly nothing. Mining on a good luck day will bring you tons of items. Number 14. 
Speaking of mining, do not go into the mines whilst carrying valuable items. Leave them in a chest at home, because if you die or pass out in the mines, not only will you be fined, but you can also lose items that are in your inventory. I once lost 142 iridium ore. I cried. Number 15. Do not sell every single gold quality item that you get. Yes, these are great for making money, but in your first year, in fall, you will have a festival called Stardew Valley Fair, where you can show off some of your farm items and you will get them judged by the mayor. Having gold items on your Grange display will make you a higher chance to win. Number 16. Do not choose the Batcave. Oh damn, this thing is pointless. I chose this in my first ever experience of Stardew Valley, thinking the word Fruit Bat Cave sounded exciting. Well, it is far from exciting. Pam's attitude is more exciting than the Fruit Cave. The Fruit Cave takes a very long time to even get one piece of fruit, and 9 times out of 10, the fruit is just forage items like grapes or salmon berries, which sell for nothing. Mushroom Cave all the way. Number 17. Do not check dirty trash cans for items whilst near an NPC. This will trigger the person who has witnessed you do this and you will lose valuable friendship points. Trust me, ask Linus, that's why he's lonely. Number 18. For the love of God, do not sell your ancient seed artifact that you can find from mining or artifact worms. You will need this to trade into Gunther's museum and you will get a recipe for an ancient fruit, the most valuable and profitable crop in the game. If you sell this, like I did, it will take you a very very long time to find this item again because it is a rare chance. Number 19. Do not join the evil side Joja. Don't fall for their lies, this will ruin your experience and take the fun from the game. It basically unlocks all of the bundles for the community center. I made that mistake and it sucked. Completing the community center is much more rewarding. Number 20. And the last tip, the most important of all. Guys, do not marry or have kids. Jesus, they will ruin your life. The kids are so annoying and just get in the way. Your partner is pure lazy and will not help at all and all they do is moan. But on a serious note, try to marry in your second to third year. Focus on other things in your first year. Marriage is not important. Trust me, you will thank me later. Well guys, that has been 20 things I recommend that you do not do in your first year. Learning from my mistakes. I hope this video has helped you out in some way. If it has and you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you are new around here and you want to see more. I have got tons of Stardew Valley content on my channel from tips, tricks and guides to crazy farm projects. I recommend you go and check them out. But for now, thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one. Peace. I know I made you smile when I texted And I know I'll do better than your ex did I'm crushing on you, I think you guessed it You're crushing on me, but you still won't confess it So let me know, let me know when you're ready I'll navigate us, and I'll keep it steady Girl, you're so bad, you're the best I've ever had